In this video, we will introduce how to patch the fixtures. For a new show program, we should first patch the fixtures so that the console knows the type and quantity of fixtures we need to control. So we press the key patch. Then select the option patch new fixture. The list here is the system fixture library. We can look for the fixture profile from its branding folder. Besides, we can also look for and patch the profile from the user fixture library. We can switch between the two libraries by pressing the option, used library. For example now, I want to patch the fixture from the system library. I want to patch the fixture F230 from Lightski. At this time, we can slide the scroll bar on the touch screen or use the wheel D to page up or down. Besides, we can call out the keyboard. Then, enter the first letter of the manufacturer's name for a quick jump to the closer page. For example, for the name of Lightski, we enter the letter L. Then, enter. So now we have found the manufacturer, whose name starts with L. Then, we roll to look for Lightski. Then we can see, Lightski is here. We select the name and press confirm to enter its folder. Now, we can see all the profiles from Lightski. Then, we can look for the model F230. So, the F230 is here. We can see it has two modes the 16 channels and 14 channels modes. After we selected one of the modes, we find the channel traits of this mode is listed here. If we confirm to patch this mode, then press confirm in the pop-up window. This option allows us to select the output lane to be patched. There are four outputs for your patching. And about this option, we can set the initial address of the fixture. For example, we set it to start with 1. The next option, unit start number, is used to set the starting unit ID number to be patched. For example, we also set it to start with 1. The option, quantity, allows us to enter the number of series fixtures. If we want to patch 20 pieces, then we can enter 20 here. The option, load preset, allows us to choose whether we want to use the pre-written preset data from the profile. The option, auto group, allows us to choose whether we want to group the same fixtures automatically after patched. When finished setting them all, then press confirm. So now, we can see 20 pieces fixtures are patched and listed here. If we want to patch the dimmer channels, then, we can select the option, patch dimmer, directly. At this time, please pay attention on this option. If the option shows in red, this means that the address has been used. If we want to patch a series of dimmer channels, we can enter the number in the quantity option directly. For example, I want to patch six dimmer channels. Then, we enter six in this option. Confirm. Now, we can see six dimmer channels are patched. And now, each of these six dimmer channels has its own unit ID. However, if we want all of them to be patched in the same unit ID, then we should set the quantity to 1.
and confirm. Right here. The option, unit start number, is displayed in green. It means we can continue patching the dimmer channel on this unit ID. Then, we just press confirm again, and again until the end. This is the way of patching fixtures.